We are colour coordinated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Medina here. And Michelle here. And we're coming to chat to you about a great topic. A great topic it is. <laughs> Abundance. abundance that's a good one so that's... what does that mean to you okay abundance well it's really interesting because I was just thinking about this mm. very topic this morning yes surprise surprise yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think what happens is as we grow up we have stories that we create in terms of our abundance and what I thought to myself was that my father was a chartered accountant so he yes. had a great emphasis on money because mm. what happened when he was growing up he didn't have a father at home and so his mother was not supported by anyone and she was um, had difficulties with money so he felt that in order to uh, be uh, safe and, and to feel um, secure in life he needed to have a job which really uh, was going to bring in a good income and what what's more related to money than being a child accountant yes. I guess yes so he you know he did a fantastic job he, he worked really hard and he got into that area but the thing was there was a real emphasis on that and then I came in with different values I came in very sort of um, more spiritually oriented, not into um, money in any way, you know, a, a very, very different energy really to, to my uh, father. And so on some level, unconsciously, I denied my sort of abundant self in terms of money because I thought that that represented what he was and what yes. he represented which was not me at all yes. you know Isn't and, that interesting? and mm. it was really unconscious mm. and I've only just recently realized so that has served to work against me because mm. I mean I'm living in a physical world where we we do require a certain level of money in order to have a, a good life and also the more money you have the more you can serve the more you can do yes. in the world so I think that as a spiritual being we really want to be able to create abundance on all levels so we can optimize our own quality of life and also the quality of the life of the, all the people around us and if we're a good person we're going to be an even be able to do more you know yes. when we have money so I think that that was something that I was really not allowing to serve me by having that in the back of my head, that perspective that, oh, because he was someone who really valued that way of living that life, mm. having money, then, then I needed to reject that, which, you know, for, for many years I, I've lived on the smell of an oily rag pretty much, <laughs> which was not good. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, well, for, for me, abundance has always been about everything. And I've always felt really, really, really grateful for what I've been given because I feel like I've been incredibly abundant and I've been given some really amazing opportunities. Fantastic. And the more you have gratitude, the more you create abundance. Absolutely. So important. Absolutely. And look, I remember once going to um, an astrologer and he doing a reading on me and him saying, that I was born under a lucky star <laughs> and you know I share that with you because there, there may be some measure of truth that I have been born under a lucky star but I also take responsibility for my abundance because I feel a lot of it that I've actually created it and partly from what you're sharing by being really grateful mm -hmm. and and also by seeing it because Sometimes the most powerful thing can be recognizing abundance. Mm. And what happens is the more you recognize it, the more it actually grows. Absolutely. It's, yes. And often if we want to create something, we've got to be in that vibration before it even manifests. So you can think abundant thoughts before you can cr necessarily create abundance on the physical. Yes. So it's like the same with joy. You know, if you're mm. not in your joy, start trying to be in that vibration of joy before it actually arrives and then you that's how you manifest it. yes yes mm. and that to me is a really interesting topic that I'd actually also like to talk about because it comes up quite often well what do you do when you're not in that vibration and when you feel like you're spiraling downwards and you're not feeling so connected to an energy that you want to connect to mm -hmm. because sometimes if you are in a situation where you are feeling really in lack mm. and things around you don't feel to be going in a way that would 
really benefit you it can be really challenging to get bring yourself up to a place that vibrates more of that energy of appreciation or gratitude or abundance Definitely. um well fake it till you make it yeah <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you just like um, you uh, write. You can write affirmations, and when you say them, you're not only um, <clears throat> saying them in a rope learn type of way, but you try to feel the energy of them because it's by connecting with not only the thought but the emotion that we bring it together in the heart, and that's the point of manifestation. So really important to when you do affirmations to yes. feel them and to and to do things like um listen to music that yes. makes you feel fantastic that makes you feel abundant yes. you know get into that emotional state be with people that raise you up and uplift you and make you feel fantastic yes. i think that's a really really important part mm. of having an awareness mm. having awareness of of who you're spending time with yes. having an awareness of what music you're listening to or whatever it is that you are taking in so if you're watching shows, I know that I'm so sensitive to what I watch. Oh, me too. And yes. more and more all the time. It yes. refines all the time. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Things I could have watched a few years ago, I just can't even mm. watch now. Mm. Yeah. Which is really, really interesting. And yeah. it's really useful to remember that. And take taking responsibility for yourself to look after yourself in a way that you are receiving energies that will really contribute and benefit you. Absolutely. So being aware of the food that you eat and because that will also affect your moods mm. and the energy that you're experiencing mm. and that can affect your abundance. Oh, food is so mm. important. Yes. Yeah. Whatever you ingest. Yes. yes. Great. <laughs> <laughs>